Hey guys, in this video I will be taking a look at Live Home, the free Android home screen launcher alternative. Um, the first thing you will probably notice that is different is the dock. Um, the dock doesn't look very good in landscape mode on my tablet. Um, it looks alright in portrait mode though. Um, I also do not like um, how it reacts by default. Um, if you scroll up and down too fast it hides the dock. Um, so you have to um, scroll up and down very, um, you know, slowly to get to all of the, um, you know, the app icons, etc. Um, there is also a bit of a bug when it comes to deleting app icons um, from the dock. I tried deleting the Angry Birds Rio icon from the dock before in landscape mode. And when I went to portrait mode, the icon came back. So um, there's a bit of a problem there, or at least um, for the Dell streak. Um, now let's have a look at the app drawer. You know, it's pretty nice, you know, pretty nice scrolling up and down. You know, you can filter by, you know, different letters of the alphabet. Or you can just view them all, like I choose to do. Uh, we have settings, I'm not going to go through all of them. The run the system preferences, you can basically have, um, you know, choose what you want the home screen button to be and what you want it to do. You can choose the swipe up and down actions for, you know, the home screens. Uh, you can, um, you know, choose what um, rotation you want with the orientation sensor. Um, what else have we got? You have screen settings, like you can hide the status bar, choose the number of desktop screens you want and which one is the default. You can also set the scrolling speed and the overshoot speed. Uh, we have drawer settings, you can create a new drawer, you can, you know, customise the background colour, choose the zoom effect um, speed, show or hide the app labels. Uh, what else have we got here? You know, um, main dock style, um, it's 15 icons by default, I would personally change that to, you know, 3 myself. Um, and you have the main dock background style, that's the Nexus bar by default. Though if you do have a tablet and choose to use it, it might look a bit better if you change it to none. Um, you know, you can hide the icon labels, etc. Um, and yeah, there are a few other options here, like, you know, desktop font and colour, draw font and colour, drawers top bar, I won't go through them all. There were also advertisements in the um you know the settings sections, which isn't too bad, it's bearable. Um and we have a few icons on the side here, um, underneath settings. Now what does this one do? I believe this is yep, the app killer or the task killer, I should say. You can kill um apps that you don't want open. And you it also links you to services in the settings menu. So you can, you know, um, you know, look at all your services, etc. And you can also conveniently uninstall applications too, which is pretty nice. Uh, what else have we got here? I believe this is um, for the themes. We only have one theme and it's called Default. Though there are a few more online themes here. Um, let's see. So yeah, there are a few more themes here, though only one of them is um, free, the others are 99 cents. Which, you know, I don't really like paying for themes um, personally. Now let's go back to the menu. And there are also sort of like um, pictures. Um, I don't really see the point of this, it's sort of like, um, you know, an area where you can get new pictures and you can... Um, you know, set them as your wallpaper, or set them for a contact, or download them. I don't really see the point of this um, personally. Um, and also in the um, app drawer, you can change the view, how you view the icons, which is pretty nice. Um, that's pretty much it, really. Um, I'm not a big fan of this home screen launcher. However, it would look better on, you know, just a mobile phone with, say, a 3.5-inch um, screen, or you know, um, lower or smaller. Um, it doesn't look so good on tablets or if you use your device on landscape mode most of the time it probably won't be as suitable. So that's it for this video and thanks for watching.